Okay, so we have a few questions here. Um, as we, as Carl identified here, we um, they boxed in or created like a closet for this new sump pump. Took a little space off the um, little square right. footage away off the, the rec room, but we're we'll deal with that. Still have to figure out something to do with this pipe here, but the major issue that we've run into. So one of the odd odd designs of this basement is this area right here is kind of, was originally like a, a nook for uh, the circuit and also they had created like a space for washing and dryers. Now, so a brainstorm from our contractor, which was a good brainstorm, was to enclose this area and to make an official utility room. But as, as Carl just smartly pointed out, the space of this door is 24 inches and there's no way a washer and dryer can fit through that door. So that's not gonna work. And as Carl said, we're definitely not gonna pay for the demolition and the tear out of this. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll have to get them to, to make this at least a 30 inch door so we can get a washer So we can get a washer and dryer in here. So we have to refit this. So maybe, maybe just open up looks like there is a stud here, stud here. so we're going to take that stud out it's not low bearing and then just open this up some more yep. let's talk to some of the guys that work here and see if we can get them to understand you see somebody over there yeah he, he might just be a painter oh hey you just paint yeah okay who does the door? No, this is private. Okay. Well, the thing is, it's, it seems like how can how can we fit a washer and dryer in here? It's too small, too narrow. No way. So who's, who's the carpenter? Who should we talk to? Talk to Mike. Yeah, Mike. Okay. Or just, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Quality control, baby. <laughs> so we'll talk to we'll talk to the. I wanted to kind of pop in and see how things were going because you want to catch those kind of things before it's too late. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So we'll our objective is to talk to the GC, and uh, we we'll also want to show you the uh, the landscaping. Yeah. Okay. Right. We had to do some grading. We had to do some grading. Um, <laughs> Let's just say, um, you know, I showed in a prior video, um, one of the, I guess we would say one of the negatives was uh, of the waterproofing project was the, um, the way that they situated the pipes um, once the water is pumped out of the sump pump and it, and it goes through the pipes. They just had these long 10 foot pipes that were shooting out of the back of the yard. So as a resolution, uh, we regraded the, the, the backyard, so get a little muddy here, but um, this should have covered all of that, which would, yeah. So this will resolve any tripping hazards. Um, so that looks good. And we also had to remove a lot, as you'll see in a prior video, a lot of the uh, overgrown brushes and shrubbery and weeds and poison ivy so it's coming along and surprisingly the fence is not too bad no it's not a good uh, power washing so a good power washing see what it see what that does and it might be okay there and i can probably imagine our neighbors probably going to do the same thing eventually um since we took care of all of this yeah, we'll probably he'll like probably motivated them to do a little something. to do and do a little something so we're going to power wash that and it'll look good and we'll figure out what to do with this shed right now the idea is to remove it but uh, there's also an idea of, re of replacing the door and putting the new floor on and making it functional so yeah we'll, we'll we'll deal with that part of the project when we deal with it but it's just coming along yep
It smells like a cow pasture out here. But yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Where y'all get this though? <laughs> Where y'all get this?